started using the RC Boost maybe about 20 years ago. I was looking for a pedal that I could put in my guitar, my gig bag, you know, because with the way travel was, you know, after 9-11, I was looking, you know, you have to play a lot of backline amplifiers and things. So I was looking for something to work with, you know, at that time I was playing a lot of strats and tellies and things and have like this kind of consistent tone and be able to tweak and get different sounds you know, more treble, less bass, or vice versa, you know. So that's really what appealed to me first. And I first heard about the RC Boost from a friend of mine, Josh Smith, who's used the RC Boost for a long time. RC Boost as a leave on pedal and also back I, you know I like to add back in the day I would use the pedal in live or in the studio but I would use it in a way where it's um, where it would be not mushy low end too you know because I was playing a lot of rock and roll like with the fabulous Thunderbirds and it called for a really clean tight sound and when you take the bass off and add a little treble, it really, you know, makes those low notes real snappy, you know. So that was really important back then, you know. And now it's more important to have more of a thicker, throatier sound, you know, on the high strings, because I'm doing more of my own thing. You know? Right. <laughs> RC Boost was sort of like the first of that style, you know, being able to have this really nice treble and bass control on there, as well as sounding really musical, too, you know. <laughs> It just adds presence. When you turn it on, it just makes your sound just sound like this beautiful shimmer without being too bright, you know. So it really is, the EQ is really set in a spot where it's really musical and not too much treble or too much bass, you know. Good, good. Real guitar friendly. <laughs> yeah.